Hello and welcome to the warm up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. Today we are in Bluffton and joined by Bluffton Pirates head coach Kyle Cutnaw in your second season here at Bluffton and thank you for joining us. Let's take a look back at 2014 to start because three and seven in your first year here. But I was thinking this might have been the most talented three and seven team I've seen in a long time. I don't think the record was exactly indicative of how good that team was. Yeah, I mean, people say that a lot, you know, and they try to make you feel better about it. But, um, you know, we uh, we had a tough season. You know, we had a lot of talent and a lot of kids that, you know, we're going to be really sad to, to see go. Um, it was tough for everybody, you know, because we we had so many games where we were so close. And, um, you know, it wasn't the fact that we lost. It was the, the manner in which we lost, I think, which made it difficult. Um, so we really have been focusing in this year on, you know, finishing and, um, making sure that we stay focused for an entire game and, um, you know, not making big mistakes at critical times in the games. All right, you guys had four losses by four points or fewer. So do the guys, the young, upcoming seniors and the rest of the guys that played on that team, do they learn something and, and is, use it as motivation for this year? Have you seen that yet? Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things that we've done this off season is that we did um, a mental toughness and emotional toughness series, and we talked about um, not letting mistakes get to you. You know, we have great kids here at Bluffton, and one of the things they like to do is they want to please you. You know, they want to show you that, hey, you know, we can do this and we're good. And I think when we lost those games in such a heartbreaking fashion, they took it personally, and it really affected their psyche. You know, so we were hanging on to losses for, you know, weeks at a time, and, and we couldn't let mistakes go. So we tried to adapt the, the mentality of a next play mentality, and, and we're talking about, um, you know, when a mistake happens, that's okay. Just, you know, don't let, hang on to it. Learn from it, move on, and let's go. So. And that's what we're going to do now. Let's move on to 2015. What have you seen so far in camp? Are you pleased with the, the attitude and the effort so far? Uh, yeah, we the guys that are back here, the seniors, they're really great leaders. And, uh, you know, I've talked to them a lot this offseason about, um, you know, you have to be more vocal. You know, you have to step up and take those those leadership positions. And um, sometimes for them, speaking is uncomfortable, but it's something that has to be done. And um, I'm really proud of what they've done so far. Um, we have a, a kind of a number situation where we have the big senior class and small so junior class, pretty big sophomore class and then a small freshman class. So these guys are really called upon to lead. And um, you know, I've, I've liked what they've done from a leadership standpoint, and it's been pretty solid. Last year, I remember you guys had a really fast-paced camp with station to station, and that buzzer was going mm -hmm. off. Is that is that the same this year? Uh, you should hear it in about three minutes. Okay, great. So it's yeah, it, it's gonna be going again. Um, we don't really we don't huddle. We do huddle now. We started off as a no huddle team, and uh, you know we, the guys really like huddling. It gives them a sense of okay, this is what I'm doing on this play, and so we've we've kind of adjusted that about halfway through the season last year, and that seemed to really help us. Um, you know, and like any other team, you know, we look back on our, what we did last year and we look for ways to improve our, our schemes on offense, defense, and special teams. And, you know, we're just trying to make adjustments and, and go from there. From a personnel standpoint, you mentioned graduated a bunch of talented guys last year. Mm -hmm. Who's going to replace them? And I believe you're returning your quarterback, Mitchell Alt, right? Yeah, Mitchell's kind of the, lin the linchpin of everything. He holds it together. And, um, you know, he's, he was second team all conference last year. He's special team um, all Northwest District. And he's a kid that we rely on heavily for leadership. And, uh, you know, he does a great job with that stuff. And then Sam Crisp was, uh, was a starter last year in that, in that group. And now he's moving from an outside receiver position to a tight end position. And then we have some other guys that are older that are stepping in, but they didn't get a whole lot of playing time experience. So guys like Joel Siefker and um, we got a guy, Brett Rumor, back who didn't play last year, he's playing this year. Uh, Sean Justice is stepping into a leadership role. Um, you have junior Owen Bischoff playing wide receiver a little bit. And then we have uh, some younger guys in the running back position with Caleb Jefferson and, uh, and Dustin Falk. And then Dakota Bricker is stepping in, uh, playing the slot position that his older brother Austin used to play last year. Uh, and then we have another guy who came out as a senior, was a soccer player, Joe Schreiner, who's done a real nice job as well. So. That sounds like a mix of some returnees and some new faces in the offense. And what about on the defensive side of the ball? Um, well, those were just the offensive skill guys. You know, we have a couple guys that are stepping in, too, on the offensive line that will take over, like uh, you know, like Misha Groman and then Colin Phillips is a junior, and he's coming out now. Um, he was injured for his first two years, and we're excited about him. And um, adding in with Blake Sampson and Zach Little, you know, those are guys that we're going to really rely on. Um, defensive side of the ball, we actually have more returning players on defense than we do on offense. Um, so we have guys like, uh, you know, Brett Rumer and, and uh, Sean Justice and, 
um, Joel Seifker and uh, Owen Bischoff and Dustin Falk will be in our secondary. And then Mitchell Alt will play uh, Sam Linebacker for us. Caleb Jefferson returns uh, playing Mike after he, you know, he did a great job for us as a freshman. And then we'll have Brady Basinger step in and play a, a will position. And then our defensive line, we've got a lot of guys back that played last year um, with Blake Sampson and Zach Little. and. Uh, you know, we're going to have Kyle Swank and Misha Groman in there again, you know, trying to get after it and trying to rotate a lot of guys. And, and Sam Crisp played some Sam linebacker last year, but now he's going to play um, one of our defensive end spots. So we're jostling guys around based on what they do well. You know, we don't want to try to put a square peg into a round hole. We want to play to kids' strengths and, and go from there. So. Right, and that experience on the field should help you once you take the field week one, Corey Rawson at home and mm -hmm. a couple non-conference games to follow, Van Buren and then at Fort Warmie. That rivalry game with Corey Rawson, I'm sure, will, will be a big one week one. And then, you know, it's a pretty challenging non-conference schedule for you guys. Yeah, it's it's a non it's a non-conference schedule. It's very challenging, and our regular you know conference schedule is challenging as well. I mean, you know, we talked about last year all of our close games. I mean, I think that's just a, a good statement of how good the NWC is as a, as a conference. And you know, every week we go up against teams that are you know loaded with talent and coaches that really do a great job. And so you know we really have to tighten up and make sure that we're playing mistake-free football and, and learning how to close games and how to start games. You know, so. Is there an area that you would like to see improved upon between now and week one, a main focus? Uh, yeah, we our team motto this year is SCI, so it stands for Simplicity, Consistency, and Intensity, and that's kind of our approach this year. You know, we tried to simplify our schemes. Our defense, I think, is a heck of a lot easier this year than it was last year. Um, so we want to we want the kids to get as many reps as possible and have them, you know, really master the concepts instead of being, you know, average at a ton of different things. We want to focus in on, you know, a handful of concepts and become really good at it. Uh, the consistency part is we talk about consistency in their efforts and consistency in their attendance and their behavior. And then the I stands for intensity. We want them to just go as hard as they can for as long as they can. So when we looked at those three things as our key focus points, then we went back and we looked at our, our schemes and we said, okay, well, on offense, we want to run the ball a lot better. Um, we threw the ball very well last year, you know, with all those skilled receivers and, and Mitchell being a great quarterback. So, you know, we feel confident in our passing game. Um, we want to really expand that run game. And then defensively, you know, we, I think we started to play a little bit better in our pass coverage towards the end. But, you know, we simplified everything on defense. So we want to be able to be a better defensive team. And, you know, like any team in football, you need to establish the run and, and stop the run on defense. And I think you'll be okay. So. Well, thanks for letting us come out. Best of luck this year. We need to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. But when we come back, Mark Koontz is going to chat with some of the Pirate players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. I'm Mark Koontz as we continue with the Bluffton Pirates, joined now by three of the seniors for head coach Kyle Cutt. Now as we've got Sam Crisp, wide receiver and a defensive end, Mitchell Alt, quarterback and linebacker. And on the end, Joel Seifker, a wide receiver and defensive back. And we'll begin with you, Sam. Quite a few receivers off of last year's team. It was a senior-dominated receivers group. Put up some good numbers. Now it's up to a new class of receivers to just kind of step up. Have you have you seen some progression in this first week or so of, of camp with the new receivers? Right, we've had a lot of guys step up that were younger that didn't get much uh, varsity reps last year, but they are stepping in the positions well. We just got to do our best to lead them and uh, get them on the right track to do their best out there. Mitchell, as the quarterback, what have you seen from this new group of receivers? Um, this this group of guys, I really enjoy. They all work very hard. It's uh, you know, they're very unselfish. I mean, they don't care if they get the ball. I mean, they run their routes hard every time, and they run back to the huddle, and they keep their heads up whether they get the ball or not. And I uh, I can really appreciate that as a quarterback uh, standpoint. Joel, coach was telling us that a large senior class, but a lot of you guys, he kind of needs to work on you guys being a little bit more vocal. Has, has that been something that uh, has been stressed? Uh, yes, very much so. Um, I think for me, uh, it's kind of a big thing for me. Uh, I'm usually not one to yell. But when I see something wrong, I definitely am going to work on uh, addressing that and uh, making sure we're taking the right steps this season. Joel, as you look back to last year, you know, Coach kind of said it. You know, it, record wasn't very good. Yeah, it was, there were some close losses, but the record was the record. What, uh, what have you done in the offseason in the first couple of weeks of practice to, to try and improve that record for this upcoming year? Um, I think just having a good uh, mindset every day when we come out to practice. Uh, we're trying to put that behind us and look forward and uh, hope we have a great season. Mitchell, what do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? 
the strength of this year's team, I think, will be our leadership. I think we have a strong senior class uh, who will direct the younger guys to do great things. Um, I think that's where it all starts. Um, it's going to be big for me to come through this year with uh, leadership especially, but also coming through on Friday nights. But we have to come through every day in practice for uh, Friday nights to go the way we want. Sam, a couple of weeks before that first real Friday night as you guys take on Corey Rawson, what do you need to work on the most between now and then? I think for the most part it's just a matter of uh, tightening everything up, making sure everything's perfect. Uh, to win those close games, you can't have any mistakes offensively or defensively, so that's our main focus. All right, we're going to take a break here on the Blanchard Valley Health System warm-up, and we come back more from the Bluffton Pirates here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System as we continue with the Bluffton Pirates talking now with three senior members of that line, Misha Groman, Kyle Swank, and Zach Little. And Misha, we'll start with you. How's the line looking this year? The line so far, we're looking really good. We've got a lot of uh, senior members on the offensive line and some solid backups. So we're just doing our best to get out there and work every day. Uh, the seniors are showing a lot of leadership, making sure we don't have any cash potatoes on the defensive line. But we're just really fighting to get a good, strong team. Kyle, obviously you're on both the offensive and defensive line. At this point, who's ahead, offense or defense? Uh, right now, I would say uh, the offense is ahead. I mean, we work real hard on uh, blocking and stuff. Um, we just need to make sure we uh, like know who to block. We need to know where to step, and uh, we just need to keep working hard. Zach, traditional opener against Corey Rawson coming up. You guys have kind of owned the Fighting Hornets the last couple of years. How important is it to this senior class to, to keep that winning streak alive against Corey Rawson? Uh, we really look forward to the Corey Rawson game just to make sure we got everything ironed out. And uh, it's just a good, if we can get the win, it's good to get our season rolling that way with a win. Zach, the NWC last year so tough. A lot of schools out of the conference made the postseason. You guys hung with them. Didn't quite get those victories, though. What do you think the NWC is going to look like this year? Um, I think we're going to have a lot of talent return to the NWC this year. There's going to be several solid teams, and we're just hoping we can make our way to the top and fight with them. Kyle, what are the goals for this year's team? Uh, I'd say the goals would be um, never quit, just keep working hard, um, just keep going, like keep going, never stop, never quit. Um, I'd just say execute and uh, just do your best. Misha, a couple of weeks into practice, or about a week into practice as we tape this, have you seen some good progression from day one to, to where we are now? Yeah, you can really see, especially the young guys, they're starting to get everything, everything's starting to click, and kind of the mindset is getting there. So as we start getting into these hitting days of practice, we're going to build on our toughness and really build a strong base for our team. Second year with Coach Cut now, what have you seen from Coach in, in year two here, Misha? Um, I've really seen him grow closer with us. Uh, Last year, over the course of the year, he really started to open up to us. And this year, uh, obviously, we're a little more comfortable with him. And we're really starting to listen to him and really get <clears throat> get accustomed to him. And we're, we're ready to play for him. Kyle, what are some of the ways you guys have gotten closer to coaching this coaching staff? Uh, just like all season working with him, like in uh, the weight room, um, doing a winning state. He took us through a book that uh, helped us. Like it teaches us with nutrition before games. And it teaches us, like, it just to get mentally prepared. And uh, just working with him, he's really helped us a lot. Finally, Zach, a couple of weeks before that opener with Corey Rawson, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and Fighting Hornets? Um, right now, I'd say we pretty much have a general understanding of what we need to do offensive and, offensively and defensively. We just need to iron out the small things and get everything rolling. All right, thank you very much, guys. I want to thank all of our guests here. On the warm-up, presented by Blanchard Valley Health System, for Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Ernst. We'll see you next time here on WOSM.